fucking hell, boy. Jesus. There's like no natural light in here, okay? It's all just artificial crap and I ain't gonna do any good. I think my eyes are throbbing. Oh, don't be so dramatic. If it wasn't so fucking cold, I'd open the window as well. Get some fucking fresh air in here. But it's only like, what fucking time is it? It's 2 p.m., you lazy fuck. And all you've done today is sit on your ass on the fucking laptop. What are you even doing on there? Stuff. Important stuff. Vital work, boy. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm so totally fucking convinced. Uh-huh. And why are you exactly so focused on this shit anyways? Don't, don't you have anything else to do? Well, as a matter of fact, I don't, okay? I've taken it upon myself to make sure that we don't spend the day wasting away in some dark, dingy little fucking room spiralling downwards. Well, that was an oddly poetic way to put it. It's just a normal day, boy. Yeah, and that's the problem. It's becoming a normal day for you. Look, we get days like this sometimes, all right? Where nothing really happens, it's just a thing. Yeah, it's also January. Nothing's really happening, work is slow, money is shite, everything is fucking grey, and it's a shitty month. And? What's your point? None of that is gonna get any better if you just sit here wasting away doing fuck all, okay? It's gonna be shitty regardless. You need to do damage control. Get up and do something productive. Why are you taking such an interest in this? Because this is the way that low points start, okay? First of all, it's just one of those days. You just need a little bit of rest, so you're just gonna sit around and do fuck all. And then pretty soon it turns into, oh, it's just been a bad week and you're not really sure what's going on. And you just continue to sit around and give yourself that time and rest and Again, do fuck all. And then pretty soon, you've spent the entire fucking month doing nothing but laying on the sofa, wasting away, watching YouTube, getting more and more upset that you're not actually doing anything worthwhile. That isn't how it's going to go, boy. Yeah, you're right, it isn't actually, because I'm not gonna let it happen, and neither are you. Are, are you done with this video? Video? Yeah, yeah, I finished it earlier. Right, excellent, and the laptop can go away. It can fuck off for a little bit, okay? That's laptop time done. Milo's gonna need a walk in a little bit. There's things around the house that we can do together. And, I mean, then maybe the laptop can come out and play later on. And, I don't know, maybe you can voice chat with friends or something. Y you, you know you don't need to do this, right, boy? Like, I did the counselling. I I can't do this on my own. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you have to be on your own dealing with it, or that you even are on your own, okay? There's no reason to make things any more difficult for yourself, you know that. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. So, so what do you, what, what should we do first then? Excellent, right, it's time to sort out the slipper collection, it's time to rotate out and get some new pairs on those feet, okay? Ah, fuck, that time again? That's the whole fucking week gone. Hey dude, so what are, you, what are you up to right now? Uh, um, uh, yeah, uh no, nothing much, really. You taking more pictures for your Instagram and your Twitter? Um, uh... It's fine, it's fine, I ain't gonna take the piss. You, you're not? That's not really like you, are you feeling okay? Dude, I post poor pictures like almost every fucking week. What the hell could I say about any of that, alright? I mean, that's a fair point. I guess I'm just still a bit shy about it. Ooh, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's understandable. I mean, it's been a long time since, you know, you've been not so successfully hiding it. So, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while before you're, like, truly comfortable and not shy about it. Yeah, you're, you're right. And, I mean, it's, it's not always, like, massively easy being, like, free and open about all of this shit, so... Oh, sure, yeah, I understand that. I mean, you've seen a lot of the shit I've had to deal with up until, well... Say up until now, it's still sometimes ongoing. Yeah, but it's it's kind of different for me. Like people pretty much get the whole poor thing is like it, it's cute and adorable, but like feet, uh, not so much. But feet are totally cute. I mean, pampered, well taken care of, soft pizza, just a adorable. Yeah, sure. To us, definitely. To others, maybe. But to most. No, it's mostly either like a heavy fetish thing or it's disgusting and we don't really fulfill either of those roles. <laughs> oh god yeah, dealing with the heavy fetish people, that is ooh, super, super fun. It kind of is in a way, I mean like the lewd stuff is kind of nasty to have to deal with but you can mostly bypass that if you know how. But uh, it's kind of entertaining shooting down people's fantasies and seeing just how butthurt and shit they get when you do that. People getting upset that you're killing their boners. Well, yeah, and it's kind of just 
odd, but it's like the reasons behind it as well. Like people getting legitimately pissed off because I like good hygiene. Oh God, yeah. Like the whole musk and smell thing is like a pretty big deal for a lot of people. So like shooting them down is always a little bit, I don't know, funny, I guess. I mean, fuck me, right? For liking to be clean, for liking the smell of coconut over the smell of sweat. Oh God, no, no, that shit is horrible. I, I really do not understand how people find that like appealing. At all. Yeah, me neither, but then there is a shitload of stuff that other people tend to really like and we fucking don't. I mean, that's kind of our whole deal, so... <laughs> anyway, how are you uh, How are you finding this this new freedom that you have? It's good, it's nice. It's, um, it's, it's taken a bit of getting used to. Um, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a bit of an adjustment, but... Like, it's, it's nice not having to be so skittish about all of it and, you know, embarrassed. Uh, and, and hell, I will admit that people actually liking the way my feet look is kind of helping my self-confidence and body image issues. So, I mean, that's that's got to be good. Well, then, I mean, I'd definitely say that's a win. Chalk that up in the win column. Oh, also, I meant to say, um, uh, you're welcome. All right, I'll bite. Welcome. I'm welcome for what? Exactly. Well, I mean, first of all, there's the whole setting the great example of, you know, enjoying something that you, you know, enjoy without having to worry about other people. And then, I mean, you, you have to admit, like, the incredible softness of your peats is mostly, or at least partially, down to the enforced slipper wearing that I have put in place. Like, you are welcome for that shit, okay? Boy, I've been taking care of my feet for, like, a long fucking time now, okay? I really don't think you can take all the credit for that. Too late, already doing it. It's my, it's my thing, it's my win. You're welcome. But um, but yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll let you get back to it. Um, let me know if you need any advice, like setting up camera angles and all of that jazz. I'm pretty much a master of all of that now. Yeah, yeah. And, and thanks, boy, for, you know, not making me feel so fucking weird about all of this. I, I appreciate it, I really do. Well, I mean... It is weird, but who the fuck ever wanted to be normal anyways? This is this is a much better way to live. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you got a good point, actually. Damn right it's a good point. Proud of you. I'm proud of you, okay? Well done. Big steps. With, with big feet. Nah. Hello, everybody. It's advice time because, um, well, it's not just me feeling this, and I know that I'm protected by lovely, luscious, soft fur, but it's getting cold as fuck lately, and I thought I would help everybody by giving some lovely advice and uh, some tips, for instance, on how to keep what is potentially the cutest and most important parts of your body nice and toasty and warm. Your feet, let's go and talk about some slippers because fuck it, why not? Now, obviously, we are in the winter, at least we are in this country, which means everything's starting to ice up the car is icing up and that's a white bitch but uh, that also means that it's getting really cold like around the house and it's not too bad our houses in this country are designed to keep the heat in but it does mean that toes can end up freezing and feet are just generally cold unless you know you are protected as we will get to momentarily but it's important to keep yourself nice and warm and happy otherwise things like you know seasonal affective disorder get that little bit fucking worse when you can't even get comfy and the best way to keep those uh, those feet of yours warm, because I mean the rest of you will keep warm pretty well because you wear clothes. And, uh, you know, shoes off at the door is the rule in this country, and that's not going to work too well unless you've got something else to put back on. So slippers it is. Now, I will say that a lot of people in this country tend to just buy a pair of slippers and just wear them until they don't want to wear them anymore. And I would definitely advise that, um, you know, that's an okay method, but get a couple of pairs because, you know, you're going to want to, you know, make sure that they're still clean. Something that's machine washable, something that's not, you know, disgusting and dirty. Keep your fucking hygiene up. And yeah, it's going to get cold. The air is going to get a bit more biting. Your lips are going to get chapped. Uh, your, your mouth lips, not the dirty kind. And uh, you're going to want to try and protect your skin. You know, your knuckles might start to dry out. Your feet might start to dry out too so there we go get that stuff that is the stuff we use and it's the best in the fucking world at least well it's the best that i've used so get something just to protect yourself keep the hygiene up it's no reason just because you're you know snuggling up all warm to get fucking sweaty and disgusting that that's when the summer rolls around so yeah let's uh let, let's go through it um where the fuck do we start Okay, so the first pairs you are likely to pick up are the, the cheap. The, the cheap little slip-on pairs. I mean, these advertised as memory foam, but I'm pretty certain that the sole is fucking polystyrene or some shit. They kind of look okay, they kind of feel okay, but 
you know, unless you're really light on your feet after a couple of, you know, days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, these are going to be flat as fuck and don't really tend to do much. And I mean, you know, they're okay, they are better than nothing, and they're better than bare feet or just walking around in socks, but they don't cover, like, the back of your heel that well, and when it gets really, really fucking cold, they're, they're just a bit, you know, middling. They're, they're not much. I mean, if you're in a pinch and you need something, and this is just whatever you can pick up in the store, go for it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang on those forever. They're not, they're not a permanent solution. Okay, these on the other hand are like the upgraded version of. These are like proper, you know, fleece lined, all fluffy around the outside, fucking memory foam soles that are actually memory foam, so they actually fucking work. They've got decent sort of hard wearing soles, so they should last a while. And, you know, yes, you can wear them as shoes. I have done that. It is totally fucking worth it. These are so good. And these actually really hold the heat really well. They don't make your feet sweat or anything, but they do make sure you are nice and toasty. They're actually really surprisingly good at holding the heat. Uh, these are actually quite cheap. Pick these up off Amazon. You can get these nice and simple. This is like your supermarket version, so fuck them. These, these are like the actual, like, I actually give a shit about what I'm going to be wearing version. So that, that is a good option. It's a little bit boring. Again, doesn't protect the heel. It's a little bit, like, not the best design in the world. But hey, fuck it. Again, if, if you want something understated, you don't want to, you know, have something fun and cute and adorable, that's not a bad option to go for. So we live in a fucking beach town because, um, well, that's where, we, that's where we live. I don't know, really know why there's a because for that. But uh, one of the standards of a beach town is that it doesn't really matter what fucking time of year it is. People want to wear flip-flops and shorts because we have water near us. I don't understand it. I really don't. It's fucking January. It's icy. Still see people in flip-flops going to the beach. So if that's your bag, if that's what you want to do, there are these. These are fluffy, like fur-lined flip-flops. These are great keeping the heat if you have to wear fucking sandals. Now, these aren't really going to protect you against the real extremes of the cold because it's just like the soles of your feet that are going to really feel the benefit. And at the end of the day, you're still, your toes are going to get fucking... I mean, they're good. They're really good. They're really comfy. They're really soft. It's really nice to wear, but it's not exactly going to keep you really fucking toasty in this time of year. But there you go. That is an option. Moving up the cuteness there, we have things like this, the novelty slipper, the standard slip-on kinds. Now, these, these are actually quite good, you know, they're nice and plush. They will hold to your foot quite well. The soles are material soles. Now, you need to watch out for that because these will wear through real fucking easy. And then, you know, once they start wearing through and whatnot and they get a bit thin and you step on something wet or cold, you're going to feel that and it's ugh, no thank you anymore. But these, these are really good. These, these can be a nice step up. They have the added adorableness factor, which is always a bonus. They are really super soft you're gonna like wearing these These are gonna feel good to wear and i mean yeah they, they hold really well so like th these are a good option but they don't tend to last that well you don't get the back of your heel which is a, is a big thing okay it, it sounds a lot less than it actually is but when like the rest of your foot is warm and your fucking heels are not that's that's an odd feeling but um but yeah these, these are sort of okay these are the sort of thing you get as like christmas and birthday presents and uh, they can actually cost you quite a bit of money considering the quality deficit, so be wary. So now we're talking, now we've got some good stuff. These, these are actually tea turtle slippers, which I'm... Well, they don't actually have an awful lot on sale at the moment, slipper-wise, but if you can find them, fucking go for them. They've got decent thick soles. They are fabric, but they are decently non-slip. They are completely soft and plush. These are, like, real fucking comfy. These are real good. Uh, elasticated waistbands so that they can actually keep to your foot. They do protect the heel. These are just great. These are really fantastic. And, I mean, it's tea turtle. They're fucking adorable. Hence why I'm obsessed with collecting their socks at the moment. At the other end of the novelty scale, we have, like, true novelty stuff. Like, these are, like, collector's items. These are firefly slippers, and I am fucking happy I got these. But these are, like, really fucking difficult to wear, as you might be able to tell. Like, okay, there's the sole. That's where the toes would be. And you got all this out the front. That's, um... That's a whole ass fucking thing right there. And these are great, these are really nice and warm, really plushy, really comfy, but these are the sort of things like if you're laying up on the bed or lounging on the sofa, then you can put them on because if you need to walk anywhere, you are fucked. So yeah, be wary of some of the things you're gonna buy. You might think it's a great design and everything, but like, <clears throat> you, remember when, you remember when Alan broke his ankle? That was because he was wearing stupidly big slippers. So be careful of that shit. And then we have everybody's favourite, the paw and claw slippers. These are like the most stereotypical type of slippers in the fucking world. And obviously quite akin to us furries, we all sort of like the plushy paws. I mean, I know I do. So, uh, yeah, these are actually um, quite hard to get decent pairs of these days. Uh, you can find paw slippers really easy on Amazon and eBay, but you can't really find good ones all that easy. I tend to find the soles really thin 
and fabric and you'll wear through that really quick and they don't hold to the foot that well. They are almost entirely made for novelty purposes, which can sort of work, but uh, like there's better things out there. So don't, don't think being a furry, that, oh, I'll get these and these will be great. They'll last me the whole winter. They won't, they really won't. Uh, unless you do what I did, I actually forgot that I did these because I just found these the other day. But one thing I would advise with slippers is to get a little bit sort of arts and crafty with them, get a bit handy with them. I actually got some like really thick, like I mean really thick sort of um, foam sponge and stuff so I could really pad the soles out. So these are like walking on pillows. And then to make them more like pillows, I used the pillow stuffing to actually sort of bulk them up because... They, they, they were so loose to wear. Now they, they, you know, they hold perfectly. They are fucking divine to wear. So don't be afraid to get out the sewing needle and actually do a bit of work on them because, you know, custom slippers can be the best shit. And if we're talking about custom slippers, I should probably mention these. I mean, you might have seen these around if you've been to Confuzzled. I mean, that's what I make Alan wear. And um, these, these are actually Happy Feet Tiger slippers, which, you know, they're great and everything. But when they turn up, they look deflated. They don't look right. So after a while of playing around, I have like a fucking proper method now. So yeah, it's got the super thick sponge sole so they won't, you know, actually deteriorate and flatten down like at all. It's so fucking thick. A lot of extra stuffing so they hold to the foot better. They are like so fucking plush. And the best part of all, an outdoor sole, EVA foam so that they actually last. Now these are like the most fucking durable slippers I've ever had in my life. These are just the greatest. They hold the heat perfect. They are easy to walk in. They're not bulky and they're adorable. So uh, that, that, that is like your end product. That's where you could go with, you know, having great custom slippers. If that's what you want to make yourself, you don't necessarily have to. Which leads me on to these. These are custom slippers I got from a place which I think is called Fuzzfoot Inc. There will be something flash up for it. It used to go under another name and I think I think Fuzzfoot Inc. is what it is now. But this guy is like fucking stunning. He literally makes slippers based on how other slippers are shit. So of course I'm in love with the guy. Uh, these are like proper fleece lines. They have uh, EVA inner sole that's suede on the outside. The thickest, plushest foot. I need to give these a brush, Christ. But they, these are fantastic and these will see you through for years. Now, you know, it's a bit of an investment, but it's one of those totally worthy ones. They are big, they are soft, they are warm. Your feet will thank you for being in these. And of course, if we're gonna talk about custom slippers, we have to talk about the best slippers in the whole world. I just, oh, yeah, the, the absolute best. I mean, Artemis slippers. Yep, you're never gonna to top that. It's God tier. Thank you, Miss Magwan for that, or Astrofen. There again, will be a link. She made these, don't ever give me credit for these, ever. Give her the credit, because these are just stunning. They have the thickest, spongiest sole. They have fucking polar fleece on the inside. I I can't even express to you how comfy these are. Every, and, and I mean, look, it's me. It's me on a slipper. It's it's perfect. It's it's the, the perfection. Like, how could you ever do better than that? You can't, so I'm really sorry. Really sorry. I was trying to give you advice, but it, you can't have these. These, these. these are mine. No, yeah. These are just completely mine. You're never going to do better than this. That, that you, you're too late. I'm sorry. I beat you to the punch. But yes, there you go. Maybe one day I'll do a more in-depth review of, uh, of actual slippers, because I have so fucking many of them around here, my god. But the reason I actually have so many slippers is because so many of them are shit. And I, I, none of these ones are, obviously, but, um, but it's really easy to just go out and buy a pair of slippers and think they're gonna be great and they just fucking aren't, they just don't last. I didn't intend to have like a hundred pairs of slippers, which I'm really close to. Um, what I intended to get was a perfect pair of slippers, some that would, you know, cushion my feet properly, would be really comfy, would last a long time. And that's a really hard thing to come to. Now there's companies like Happy Feet, which do so many designs that have a really good build quality, but there's, there's not a lot that you can find in shops these days. You can't just like go into town, go into a supermarket or whatnot and expect to pick up something that's quality, even the stuff that looks it. And I mean, you can go with things like Ugg boots and proper like slip-on slippers and stuff. I don't really own any like proper like, old man slippers. Uh, I have Ugg boots, obviously, but Ugg boots are sort of more an outdoorsy thing. And as comfy as they are, they're, they're not something you're gonna get all snuggly with because they're not exactly you know, plush. But a lot of the shit you do find in town, I find it's just, you know, overpriced crap and you're not really going to have it last that long. So it's worth investing in quality 
so there we go there we, i hope this helps i hope this helps you all find some wonderful slippers that make your souls happy forever or at least for as long as they fucking can everything's got an end but um but yes there we go there's some advice for you i'm gonna try and decide which pair i'm actually gonna wear today holy shit